can't you move this car faster? You will die this car. You shouldn't have bothered you, ma. You still haven't told me where you were last night. Ah, uh, I told you already. I said that I was in a meeting. <laughs> what if Tiara shows up again? Leave Tiara to me. I'll handle her. In the book of... In the book of... Her father. Daddy doesn't know the Bible. Shh! What are your dominant fruit of the spirit? I speak in tongues. I... Read my Bible. TV has not done well at all. He who commits adultery does not have sense. Well, he stopped receiving my meals and neither was he responding to them. So, I was just holiday in Ghana with my friends and I thought, ah, what the heck? I'm gonna just stop by my baby dad, you know? Tiara, I, I cannot do this with you right now. How dare you, Tiara? How dare you? Tiara, you have put my son in great peril and I won't take that lightly. Dad, what is it? Haven't you done enough? Please just settle Tiara. Renika is my wife. I will handle this my own way. Welcome to Ayobami Adewega Gospel Films TV channel, where you watch edifying and soul lifting content. We encourage you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay blessed and enjoy the movie.
Good morning, ma. Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Janet. Why are you here? Well, I'll take that as a compliment. Wait, how did you know I work here? I did my research. I don't need your response. You asked the question, and that definitely demands an answer. At least can I take my seat? No. You can't. As you can see, you're not welcome here. Jeanette, I just need you to give me a chance. I'm dying of your love. Don't die here. If you must die, you know where to die. Kindly leave now and make do with your life as you please. I have told you earlier, I am not interested. I don't have feelings for you. Neither do I love you. Don't ever come back here again. Okay. Calmly, my dear. Calmly. In my own opinion, you could as well handle this more maturely, you know? Excuse me, Mrs. Edet. I do not want to talk about it. I mean... I you... said I do not want to talk about it. Okay. Hello? Good morning, ma. Good morning. This is the maintenance office of your bank, General Light Bank. We are currently upgrading our network services to allow customers to enjoy more banking options. Your account number 22-4096-2171 and your date of birth 27th August 1990. We need you to call the last four digits on your ATM card for completion of your upgrading. You mean the last four digits? Yes, ma. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I have it now. Zero, 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 zero. I mean the number in the card. Yes, now. It is zero, 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 and zero. You have mentioned four zeros, ma. Yes. You will still need to add two more zeros to it. You be mumu. I mean they waste my credit. Or they'll come out from my line, so. <laughs> hey, good. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Janet, for your timely intervention. I appreciate your love. Don't mention, Ma. Scammers are everywhere. Mm -hmm. We just need to wise up. And I'm sorry about the other time. No, it's okay. I totally understand. As for me, no scammer can scam me. Nobody can scam me into anything called marriage because marriage is nothing but a total scam. Marriage is not a scam, my dear. It is. How do you mean? Someone will just come from nowhere and rob you of your family, your goal, shape, beauty, freedom, future, and abandon you. Then leave you open to injury and condemnation. Well... Maybe you are wrongly fed. I am not wrongly fed. That is what marriage is all about. Marriage is nothing but a total scam. My dad abandoned my mom when I was six years and my younger brother was three years. He left her for a rich woman. And after some time, the woman also faced the same ill faith as my father jilted her. When our wealth was gone, at the age of 10, I was taking him by my hand, whose husband disappears for days, sometimes seven days, without traces of him. And once he returns, my hands must provide food for him. Presently, where I'm staying, my neighbor would beat his wife every night. As if it's a norm, the woman must be served a go-to-bed beating before she would sleep. Hmm. So you now say that marriage is nothing but a total scam. I'm sorry for all they've made you to see and believe. But I hold a different perspective towards that. Marriage is not a scam. I can boldly tell you. 
I have been married for 11 good years now. I have a unique home and a blissful union, different from all those you have highlighted. My husband is the best husband in the world. So caring, romantic, and always positive about my dreams, adding value to my life. I think I am blessed to have him as my husband, and he is a genuine child of God. Maybe I'll introduce him to you one of these days, so he can help me drive these points to you better. Be in the area of his calling, and I'm sure he will be glad to meet you. What did you just say? See, to him, we have to put an end to this unholy affair between us. Eh? What we are doing is not right. See, it is a sin in the sight of God. And I want to make things right with my God, wife, and children. Did I offend you? No, you didn't. Tell me exactly what my offense is and I will ask for your forgiveness. I love you and I need you in my life. To you come of it. Stop all this. Stop all this nonsense now. What has come over you? Huh? You know we are both married for crying out loud. Uh-huh. And so what? <sighs> you know we are both married when you are enjoying it. Did I ever ask you for money? Am I a burden to you? You know I've never for once asked you for money. Rather, I give to support you and your family. All I want is my body in your hand. Is that too much to ask? Do you stop this now? Stop this nonsense! Ha! Huh? This is a friendship with benefits. Everyone does it. My husband that has been in Portacourt for the past six years now, he has been going and coming. Do I know what he's doing over there? See, I choose to close my eyes because you are here to caress my body. To come on. Come on. But you know my whole wife is here. Now, just tell me, what exactly am I looking for in a woman no? that my wife does not have? What? Satisfaction. Tell me, don't you enjoy it better with me? Come on. Just stop all those things. See, I am done talking with you. Please come and leave my office. Whoa, Pierre Dadebe! Whoa, Mafi te ko eh? Edit. After work as usual, same place, same time. Edit. You know, I have nothing to lose. If my husband divorces me today, I can't stand on my own. But you, I will report you to your wife, ah. your pastor, ah. and the managing director, your co-player on the field. Ah. Hey, Tony, don't do anything stupid. Though. Don't do anything stupid.
talk about marriage, you will always find one excuse or the other. When are you going to bring in your husband? I want to carry your baby soon. Hmm? Mom, is it not too late for this? Uh, it's obvious uh, upbringing and perspective about marriage is affecting this colleague of yours. W what's her name again? Oh, Janet, sir. Okay, Janet. Can I meet her? Mm, Janet. I'll discuss with her. I'll discuss with her. That's fine. Uh, how about your husband? I've not seen him for some time now. I remember I only see him once a while during Sunday services. Uh, my husband has had to work late hours for the past few months. His work schedule is just so hectic these days. Well, he's very fine all the same. Okay. So thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Uh, Hedet. Thank you, Pastor. Let's see you tonight. Don't be late. Hey, do you see? Edit. Do you love your wife and children? Do you love your job? <laughs> if you love them, you will meet me tonight. Oh, how do you think the MD will feel knowing that you and him swim in the same river? Honestly, to him, you are you are a devil. Mr. Edet, are you fine? Huh? Good day, Pastor. I've come to see you, sir. I, I hope all is well. How is your wife? gone to church for their rehearsals. Oh, their rehearsals. Uh, um, uh, honey, What's going on? I'm very, very, very sorry. Ah, ah. What, what? What is all this? Me. Stand up, stand up. Uh, what is this? No, honey. Sta Let me remain like this. I have offended you. Ah, this. Please. So you can have extramarital affairs with another woman. I thought I knew you. The FCS president during our university days. The Sunday school superintendent of our church. 
the chairman Dickie's board. Ah, oh my God. Ah. Joseph, how many times did you get intimate with her? Please, don't let us go there. All I am begging for is forgiveness, please. Eh? Yes. So it is even more than once. Ah, did I say that? Ah. Ah, for me, please. What exactly do you see in other women that you do not see me? Your scan result shows that you have less than six months. Wait a minute. So you are confessing because the doctor said you will die? No, no. Oh. No. Not even that you are genuinely repentant. No, ah. honey, no. You are a hypocrite. You are a scammer. Ah. You are a scammer. Honey. You are a cheat. Honey. Oh, no, no. You have successfully scammed me for 11 good years. Oh. oh. You stop saying this. No, no. You shouldn't have done this to me. You should not have done this to me. You shouldn't have done this to me. You should not have done this to me. No. Sorry, please. No. <laughs> Please open the door. Thank you, my dear. Pastor Mrs. is here. Please open the door. Please open the door so you can settle this amicable. Mrs. Edet, sir, we understand your pains. Yes. Especially when one gets an unexpected disappointment from a trusted ally. Hmm. But uh, I want to beg you, don't allow the error of one lead you to commit another one. Okay? Peter and Judah sinned in the Bible. And when they both realized their sins, 
one was sober and cried to God for forgiveness. The other two were sober but hung himself. See, her dispositions to issues of life will determine whether we'll get out of them or sink. Mm. Mm. Uh, my sister, you actually need the ability and the grace to let go. Uh. I pray that <clears throat> the Lord we heal your wounds. <laughs> it's all right, my sister. All will be fine. Amen. <laughs> uh, we said that see, we, we, we sincerely understand your... Okay. Thanks. It's well with you. It's well with you. Hmm? Uh, Sister Edith, you have every right to be angry. Yeah. yeah, you do. You have every right to be angry. But please, let us find a way to put him back on track. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, I know, I know. I know it is difficult to believe that, uh, judging from the fact that you are not even sure whether his uh, repentance is genuine. Oh. Because, yeah, my brother, because mm -hmm. anybody can just mm -hmm. think that because of the medical condition, that is why he's being remorseful. Mm -hmm. That will probably have uh, led him to that sudden repentance. Mm -hmm. But ca can I ask you to just give him a try? Huh? I believe that God can use anything to draw his children closer to him. Yes. You remember Apostle Paul in the Bible, after the lightning, then he became blind mm. before his conversion. Yes. God can use anything. So, my sister, I think what is important is genuine repentance. Yes. Genuine repentance. Yes, yes, Mrs. Edith. Hey, Janet. Ah. How are you? Hey, ah, ah. I'm fine. It's been ages. It's been ages. Come, come, come. Yeah. Ah, ah. What happened? When did you arrive? Just yesterday. Ah, ah. You didn't even bother calling. And each time I tried to call you, your phone was always not reachable. Ah. It's as if you blocked me. No. How about auntie? It's just work. Ha. It's work. work. Okay. How's work? Work is fine. Work is mm. fine. We are pushing. Oh, all right. That, that's really, really, really nice. But Auntie. Yes. What are you still doing with that man? Which man? Oh, you mean my husband? Of course, yes. Really? But why would you ask such an embarrassing question? I'm sorry, you. It's just that we both know what happened. Yes, we both do. We knew what happened. But life has its ups and downs, you know. We had us, but we are out of it. We are still together. Jesus helped us. I don't get. Look, my dear. At the time of the incident, I had so many words going on in my mind. But then, you know, I thought marriage was a scam. It is. Eventually, when I sought counsel, you know, it all just... 
the Holy Spirit beamed light upon my heart and I saw marriage in a unique way. He dropped his word in my mind that one will chase a thousand and two will put ten thousand to flight. As if I was hearing the word for the first time. It is right there that I understood that I was underwriting this institution called marriage. That marriage is sweet and empowering. After he had sincerely asked for forgiveness, which I forgave him, we both prayed for his restoration and peace of our home. God also moved me like Abigail, and I told my husband that he would not die, but live to declare the goodness of the Lord. Declare this on our family altar, and God heard us. The sickness disappeared. The doctor, who said he had less than six months, was shocked when he saw him live six months and beyond. My dear, it is over seven years now and my husband is still living because God told us we will not die but live till our ripe old age. When the fire was too hot, the woman in question voluntarily resigned and left the place for my husband. One for one thousand, two for ten thousand. Explore your marriage too. People speak based on their personal experience, my dear. Don't allow people's experience to rob you of your joy. Look, my dear, most people telling you that marriage is a scam do not have a happy home. So they use their experience as a yardstick for measurement of marriage. Oh, I'm coming, my dear, please. I'm coming. You will just need to work on the point of entry. I mean the vision, the clear vision. If it is good, then you can go ahead. If troubles arise on the way, then you can go back to God. After all, there are troubles at our schools and workplaces. But we don't quit. Neither do we call it a scam. Yeah. Wow. Janet, first things first. And that's what I've always been telling you. You need Jesus. Jesus is the way to a blissful marriage. Don't you think you should invite him into your life? Hmm. Are you ready? Yes. Say after best. me. Jesus. Our godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Husband and Wife series. Where true love is shared